Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Week. Lighting might be a little weird in this video because one of my shades is broken so I don't have much control over how the lighting enters my room. Let's hop into the disclaimers. I am a random vegan foodie girl who lives in New York City who is currently actually trying to build some muscles. So I'm eating like a little bit different than usual, but mostly pretty intuitive, pretty fun and fancy free. Um, I'm not a nutritionist or a dietitian. I'm just a random foodie girl who vlogs her little foodie foods and hangs out with y'all and has fun with it. So don't take my meals as any sort of prescription or anything. Also, I drink a coffee every morning and I've been taking a multivitamin and a B12, but I don't usually record that in the morning because I don't feel like being on camera. Um, is that everything? Yeah, I think that's everything. I really hope you enjoyed my video. Let's just get straight into it. Good morning. You're crooked. Um, so I woke up craving a like savory sandwich, but I had already finished all the seitan slices I had made like last month. I made a ton and then I put it in the freezer and then I take it out as I need. But I'm done. I don't have any more deli slices. Um, so I rummaged around in the fridge and I found bean dip. So I decided I was gonna make some bean dip on bread with lettuce. Listen, it's pretty good. I already ate one of these and then I remembered I was filming. So I wanna show you my little concoction. I like it and I would do it again. Also, I got an ear piercing on a whim yesterday. That one right there. I'm pretty stoked about it. I just shot at a place called Bon Mizan. They have a vegan Bon Mi sandwich and Roberto and I are splitting um, the, the sandwich that I shot. Hi, babe. <laughs> uh, let me show you. Actually, here, hold this. So it's, it's tofu, jalapeno, like marinated mushrooms, onion, cucumber, carrots, and like some sort of spicy sauce. It's very good. And Roberto says we've eaten here before, but I don't remember. I believe him though, because I have bad memory. Show them your drinky drink. Yuzu Jolt. I got a ginger something something. What ginger is ginger elixir. elixir. I got a chicken burrito at Ja Ja Ja. This is the Ja 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 that's inside of Whole Foods. I haven't eaten here since they first opened, but it was nearby, so we figured might as well. Berto got a coconut quesadilla. I love this quesadilla, but I want to try something new. And honestly, I think I'm going to regret it, but let's go. Mm. I have made for myself a protein shake because I was hungry. Uh, but I had no more energy to do things like make food. So this is chocolate KOS protein, peanut butter, and almond milk. And it is good. I'll have a real dinner later when I have energy to make food. I ran around the city all day today and I got rained on twice, like full on soaked rained on. Oh, and I spilled coffee on my shirt and I had to buy a whole other shirt. But, what a day. All right, we have a real dinner. Okay, this is actually delicious. It's called bazella. It's like a, it's like a pea thing. So you have peas, it's cooked in tomato sauce and onions. And then normally you'd have like beef cubes, but I used seitan chunks and then you serve it over rice. So I'm gonna have this big bowl up for dinner. Good night. Good morning. I picked up doubles for breakfast because a couple of y'all were recommending a new spot for me and I was craving them. So I figured today would be the perfect day. I'm not gonna record me eating because I will make an absolute mess, but I went to the hot pot and I got some doubles. I'll let you know my thoughts. It was delicious though. The doubles I had for breakfast was from D Hot Pot in Brooklyn. I went to A&A Bake Shop, Bake Shop months ago, and then I got a bunch of suggestions in that video of other places that serve doubles that I should try out. So that's why I went for breakfast. Um, and here are my thoughts. Okay, number one, delicious, but it tastes so different from the other place. But number two, I think a&A still gives you a better bang for your buck because you get a lot more filling and A&A has like different veggie options you can put inside. I don't know if the place I went to today has that, but I wasn't offered it when I got them. So I don't know. Anyway, but both delicious. I would 
order from both again. That being said, I'm already hungry again. So I made tacos. We have three tacos here. Wow, look at that, that's beautiful. Okay, the very bottom we have bean dip and then salsa and hot sauce. This is Trader Joe's like little crumbles. Then we have some lettuce and on top I didn't have sour cream so I put Kite Hill Greek yogurt. Honestly, when you eat it with everything else, it tastes just fine. And the taco shells are Taco Bell limited edition spicy hot taco shells. I found them at grocery outlet for 99 cents for like a dozen of them or something. And it's so good, it's so good. Except for crunchy tacos are a mess. Ah! Mm. I just said they were a mess, but all my Greek yogurt just fell on the floor. I'm just eating messy food today. Also, I got my car inspected. And she passed with flying colors. I feel like all my renewal type stuff are coming up recently. So I just got my license renewed, my car inspected, something else, I don't remember. But now, I gotta do my ID. And I can finally take a picture that doesn't look like shit. This is my one chance for the next 10 years to have a decent looking ID. And I really hope it goes well. Life hack for when you don't have time to make rice. Have instant mashed potatoes in your cupboard. Make instant mashed potatoes to put next to things. So for example, I made this like seitan and peas with like tomato sauce, but I made five servings of this but four servings of rice. And now instead of making a whole other cup of rice, I just put this on top of some instant mashed potatoes and boom. It's fantastic. Hello. Okay, I got myself some protein ice cream because it's back day and I just want something proteiny and carby to fuel my back workout. Back day is my favorite day, maybe shoulder day, maybe. I don't know, they're like kind of tied. But tomorrow's shoulder day is gonna be a big one and I'll, I'll keep you updated tomorrow, but tomorrow I'm gonna try to shoulder press 40s. I love a good shoulder. I love a big old shoulder, okay? And I've been wanting to shoulder press 40 pound dumbbells forever. And I put a date in my calendar for when I'm gonna try to do it and that date is tomorrow. So I'll keep you updated on if I get to shoulder press 40s tomorrow. If so, I'm gonna be the happiest little gym girly in the world. Vanilla peanut butter flavor. Um, it's soy milk, vanilla protein powder, peanut butter, um, PB2, and maple syrup. I had kind of like a shorter workout. I wasn't in the mood to be in the gym very long, but I came back and I made myself some like chickeny stroganoff pasta type stuff and my post-workout drink, which is um, BCAAs, creatine and cranberry juice and it's so good. Let me show you. So this is my pasta. It does not look like much, but you know, it's filling, it's yum. And then this is my post-workout. It's just my little drinky drink. I'm gonna have this and I am knocking out. So here's breakfast. Last time I made seitan for deli slices, I cubed some, thinking I can use it in like, I don't know, stews and shit. Turns out I like it better as a deli slice. So I'm just putting these cubes in sandwiches with mustard, tomato, and pickles. So I have two of those, two little triangles of pita with those. And this is called a fa'us. We grew it in the garden. It's like a cross between a cucumber and a squash. I don't know what it is in English, but it's like the best cucumber because the inside is like, also crispy and delicious. It's not like weird and seedy. And I already ate half of it because I was hungry while I was making my sandwiches. So this was like a giant fa'us. And um, I'm having this on the side. So I had a little bit of a girl dinner, but not even dinner, it's a lunch. It started with this protein shake from Evolve. It's pretty good. I got it at grocery outlet and I wanted to try it for a little taste test. And I like it, it tastes like chocolate milk. And then I started heating up some crab cakes for another taste test, but I was hungry. So I ate a bowl of watermelon that was like almost too far gone. Like 
Tomorrow, I probably couldn't have eaten it, but today it was like on the cusp of being too ripe. So I ate a bowl anyway. And now I'm eating these crab cakes, which are very interesting. They are fishy and they are good. I wish I would have browned them a little bit more in like a pan or something in some oil, but I like it. And there's 27 grams of protein in five of these, which is wild. So that's my lunch. Protein shake, crab cakes, and watermelon. Bagel, Kite Hill chive, cream cheese, tomato. Today's the day. Today's the day we shoulder press 40s. It's gonna happen. I'll report back after the gym. So for post-workout, we have the same exact thing as yesterday, this little pasta thing, this little post-workout drinky drink. And if you're wondering, Rebecca, did you shoulder press 40s? I did. For two. And I did record myself, but no, I will not be posting it because wow. Wow, is it humbling to see yourself really struggle on a pair of weights. Oh, why do I look like that? And my, I, I lifted it for two. I did two presses, okay? The second press, my form was, oh, I was all wobbly. One side of my body was a little higher than the other. It was not good, okay? But the weight did move, and in the past, it did not move. So there's proof right there that I'm doing something right. Anyway, gonna eat, shower, go to sleep. Good morning. Let me show you what I have for breakfast. We have Kite Hill cream cheese, little baby Persian cucumbers on Davis Killer bread. Ta-da! And I managed to finish the whole tub before it went moldy. Also, iced coffee. It's lunchtime. Let me show you what we have. So, we start with a bed of instant mashed potatoes because it's like the easiest and fastest carb to meal prep. Then, on top we have crumbled up Beyond Meat Burger and then the first and only vegetable I found in the fridge, which was string beans. But I wanted the string beans to match the size of the crumble, so I chopped it up really, really small. You see that? And then I just added some seasonings and shit and called it a meal prep. If I remember correctly, I think this needs salt, but we'll take a bite first. <clears throat> wow, that was dramatic. It does need salt though. I'm gonna just mix it up into one big mush pile. Mmm, isn't that appetizing? Mmm. It's pretty good, really. Here's the first dinner or second lunch situation. I think second lunch. Um, I wanted two wraps, but we only had one tortilla. So we have one wrap and then one piece of bread with stuff on it and some chippies. So the wrap and the piece of bread have the same thing, which is mustard, half an avocado, tomatoes fresh from the garden, seitan chunks, and a piece of lettuce, except for there's no lettuce on the bread because how would it fit, you know? I'm also, um, I made this food very carefully because I just did my nails and I really don't want to get it my, ooh, mashed up. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> These are veggie straws. <laughs> I'm not hungry for a pre-workout meal, but if I don't eat something before I go to the gym, then I'll get hungry at the gym, and I don't like being hungry at the gym. So I'm having a builder's bar. This one it Protein and caffeine? I didn't know this had caffeine in it. I've had this before. <laughs> I don't know how much caffeine is in this. I had 65 milligrams of caffeine. That's a lot, right? 
I guess I won't have pre-workout. Okay, I won't have pre-workout if I eat this, but why can't I see the flavor? Oh yeah, chocolate chip cookie dough. So, I'ma have this. Bye! Don't yell at me. I just got back from the gym and I still didn't feel like eating a real meal, but I knew I should eat something. So we're doing protein ice cream. It's a uh, vanilla protein powder, soy milk, and peanut butter. So it's basically just like a protein shake, but you know, ice cream consistency. Mmm. Good morning. I got Starbucks. Um, and I'm not usually a Starbucks morning person, but my brother drank all of the iced coffee that I had made and put in the fridge. And it's way too hot to have hot coffee. And if I made iced coffee, it would have been really watered down by the ice I had to put in it because it was hot, you know. So we got a cold brew with one pump of sugar-free vanilla, one pump of brown sugar, and a splash of soy milk. And that's what we're having for our morning coffee. The reason why I'm out and about so early is because I'm off to shoot a little chit chat interview video with, I'll have you meet her when we get there. <laughs> somebody cool at a place called Delice and Saracen. Now I've known about this place for ages but I've actually never shot there so maybe after our little interview I can schedule a time to go like shoot a reel and check out the food but this video is going to be mainly about the person we're talking to and I think it's gonna be a good time. I might also go see Roberto after that. Why don't you introduce yourself? I'm Diana. Um, I am the founder of Vegans Baby. You said to get the brie. The brie, the baked brie, the escargot. Okay. For sure. This is like tartare made out of. I've never had it. Where are we looking? Where right is here? It? I'm ah. really curious. Cold piece steak with shallots, parsley, capers. Ah, Both so of good. these were oh. so good. I had a bite of the escargot and a bite of the brie. Delicious. Yeah. So good. Like I actually like dipping my bread in the little bit of butter that's left over like at the end. Delicious. But that brie is like I could write a love letter to that brie. No, it's really good. Mm -hmm. I can't believe they make it themselves. Mm -hmm. That wasn't enough food, so we got pliable, and by we, not Diana anymore. We're with Birdo now. It's so bright, you can barely see anything, but I got my usual, which is a pitaya bowl with mango, pineapple, blueberries, and strawberries. Here, tell them what you got. I got a acai bowl, as you can see, with mango, blueberry, strawberry, and granola. So, that is mine right there. Cheers. <laughs> and we're sitting in Washington Square Park. I'm at Whole Foods because we were about to head back to my parents' house um, and I got really hungry. So we just popped in here. Number one, it was supposed to be just for me to get tortillas so I can make burritos when I get back. Then we saw their vegan sandwiches and I was like, I want a vegan sandwich. So I got the chicken salad sandwich and Roberto got the BLT so we're doing a little tasty taste oh my, my tummy is grumbly they didn't even cut this sandwich in half they just folded it it's still I had to mute this section because the music in the back demonetized my entire video but I just wanted to show you how they didn't even slice through the whole thing it was still joined in the back the end It doesn't taste like anything. Not very flavorful. That kind of tastes like nothing. I'm still gonna eat it. And now Roberto's gonna tell you what he thinks about his BLT. Tim may taste a little smoky. I think it might taste better than yours. Because it actually has taste. His tastes better than mine. Don't get this one. If you want a little sandwich, get that one. That's my review. Goodbye. Okay, after that stupid sandwich, that stupid tasting sandwich, I needed something else. <laughs> so I went back downstairs into Whole Foods and um, I was hoping they had this like new sugar free or like low sugar gummy called Blobs because I saw them in um, Orchard Grocer and they're so good. So if you see them, and you want like a sugar-free gummy, get them. They didn't, they just had smart sweets, which 
they're fine, whatever. So I got like the peach ring ones and I had some peach ring smart sweets and I saw someone online put chamoy and tahine on sugar-free gummies and I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to get that like viral sugar-free chamoy that's on TikTok and try it. Maybe I should. Anyway, um, that being said, got back home, did a little workout, just a little little back day, just four exercises because I was tired from walking around all day and now I heated up my dinner. It's not that crazy. This is one of my laziest meal preps. Instant mashed potatoes, beyond meat, and then whatever vegetables in the fridge. Today it was green beans and I chopped them up really small so they were like the same size as the beyond meat. And I'm just gonna mix it all up and eat it for dinner. Good night. Good morning. So for breakfast, I had a slice of bread with almond butter and then a whole bunch of pineapple my brother cut up. Thank you, Daniel. Um, and that was good. It was delicious along with the coffee. And then I was craving a salad, but not like a, ooh, hearty nuts and seeds and lentil, yum, good, healthy salad. No, I was craving like a ranch salad. There is a difference. So I made a salad. It has romaine lettuce, iceberg lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, tomatoes from the garden, chicken nuggets, and ranch. Take a look at that beauty. So the ranch, oh, my leg's in the corner. The ranch is um, Hidden Valley. Whenever I go upstate or out of New York and I see a Walmart, I stock up on Hidden Valley Ranch because it's delicious. And then the nuggets are Boca. And I got a bag of them for $2 at Grocery Outlet. So, boom, I guess this is first lunch. Now the question is, will it satisfy my craving? Come on, I just want to bite with everything, okay. Yeah. Um, there's just something about ranch and lettuce and chicken nuggets. There's something about it. Bon appetit. I made myself uh, like a, a bolognese inception lunch. So I have this uh, bolognese style sauce stuffed ravioli from Trader Joe's. And then I made a bolognese sauce on top of it. And I added broccoli to it as well. So here's my big old bowl of ravioli with little meat sauce and tomatoes and broccoli. And I'm gonna eat this. And then I think I wanna go on a walk. It's really hot out, but I've been inside almost all day other than a quick run to the grocery store. And when I do that, it messes with my brain. This is too big of a bite. So we're eating this, going to get some steps. A little hot girl walk, if you will. Chippy. Dippy. Veggie straws, garlicky Greek yogurt. And we're following that up with protein ice cream. This one is peanut butter vanilla flavor. I'm back from the gym and I heated up some meal preps. It's just some mashed potatoes. Beyond Meat, Green Beans, same, same, same. That being said, I don't know what happened here. Like, I know it's melted, like, I, I can see that, but when did this happen? I pulled it out the fridge looking like this. That's really confusing, anyway. Ta-da, wow, so interesting. So fresh and new and fancy free. I'm gonna eat this, take a shower, Go to sleep, bye. Good morning. Okay, so I'm fairly stressed out right now because I'm in the middle of shooting an ad. It's gloomy outside, which means the lighting is gonna be bad. On top of that, I do have a haircut soon. So I have to wrap up this ad and head to Williamsburg for my haircut, which is like an hour away. <clears throat> and I just got hungry, but I don't have time to make food. So I grabbed a protein bar. This is the, um, the builder's one, the one with caffeine in it. I don't know if I like the idea of having caffeine in my protein bars because I wanna be able to eat my protein bars all willy nilly without wondering if I'm having too much caffeine that day. Does that make sense? But it's the only thing I could grab that's like a decent amount of calories and quick and easy. So breakfast, and I'll show you what I'm making for the ad later because I'm probably just gonna have it for lunch right before I head to my appointment. The stress, oh, the helicopter. Okay, I gotta talk to you. Gotta talk to you real quick, listen. Listen to me. The stress of having to shoot ads in my bedroom 
and making my bedroom look like a kitchen in the ad is phenomenal. I'm sweating in places I didn't know I could sweat. I think the video turned out shit. And the sandwich turned out delicious. Like, it turned out so good. It turned out looking exactly like I wanted it to, which is a chicken cutlet, lettuce, tomato, tomato on a hero. <sighs> but did the footage turn out good? I don't know, probably not. I need an apartment again, ASAP. That being said, here's the sandwich. It's actually delicious. I ate like a quarter of it trying to like shoot a video, but I'll be finishing it soon. And the ad is for this brand called Notco. Um, the chicken patties turn out really good. Um, so I'm very happy. I'm very happy with the sandwich. I don't know if I'm happy with the ad. I'll know when I, when I start editing. Okay, hey, so, oh shit, come on man. I didn't bring my camera out with me. So this is my phone and I'm trying to prop you up on my steering wheel. I just got a haircut and I was getting very hangry during my haircut. So I ordered Tofu Box, which is um, like a little, little Asian place in Williamsburg. They do these like little uh, boxes and this is what I got. So uh, on top here, they usually just like put a few soy nuggets <laughs> but my real meal is broccoli, braised tofu, brown rice, like fried mushrooms and like a sweet sauce. They usually put this in there too, which is like, I don't know, it's like spiced beef jerky on a stick and cauliflower. So I will be eating this on my little drive back to my parents' house. And... I have exciting news, but I can't tell you about it yet. Maybe soon. <sighs> I need this. Time to sit in traffic for a whole hour. Yay! We have some pre-workout before I deadlift today. Just some oatmeal, maple syrup, almond butter, and blueberries. Nothing crazy, but it's pretty awesome to get some like solid carbs before a heavy lift. I got a boring little meal prep dinner. It's just mashed potatoes, beyond meat, and broccoli. Basic, fast, and decent tasting. Whoa! Wow! You know, a pure culinary art right here. I love it. Good night! That's all I have for today. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. I hope you got some meal ideas or you were just entertained hanging out with me. I've been putting more work into these little what I eat in a week, so I hope you noticed and enjoy. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I put my Instagram right here. Also, I'm posting on TikTok every single day, and I do little what I eat in a day vloggy vlogs, so check that out and enjoy. Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Lucia, Alex Creates, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, Adrian, Dawn, Susan, Trudy, and Clark. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there, and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!